So I wanted to try to do this kind of more vlog style filming with a lot of challenges I'm working on. Uh, first stop here is UW. I'm working on a little simple descent. So we'll see how it goes. At UW, uh, first time since my ankle sprain, I'm gonna try uh, just a quick challenge, a little descent. Thing about descents is, I mean, they're scary, but you know it's kind of plug and chug situation. If you have your technique down, there's not a lot of impact involved. A lot of it, or majority of it, I would say is mental more than physical. This is a very small one. It's not incredibly scary compared to a lot of other ones, and I've done it many times before. So it's a nice thing to kind of reintroduce some movement with kind of getting myself the right mindset of parkour again. What's up, Dennis? Can you say something to the camera? No? You shy? Taking a little pit stop to look at this little challenge, which I want to do again soon. Uh, looking at it now, it doesn't look huge which is kind of a funny thing I think with parkour is a, uh, or kind of anything, you know, I feel like if you're not really ready for something physically or mentally, it'll actually look bigger. I feel like your perception will make it look scarier because it's something that's not really in your reach. Once something's a little more in your grasp, I know a lot of other parkour people say this too, it looks physically smaller. Um, and I think that's just kind of, again, your perception telling you, this is something in my grasp. I'm not gonna blow it up to be something more dangerous looking than it is. So usually what we do is kind of on the side here, you drop from the top, very top there, right to the second floor, right here, and then all the way down. So that's a little mini kind of drop, one descent, and then you're done. I want to do this side here, where it's going to be one, two descents, and then to the ground. So since this shot is pretty exposed down the open here, um, I want to be pretty quick with it. But luckily this little side spot um, is a little more tucked away. Um, so I'm going to practice there a couple times before fully going for it. pretty good. Usually I would start something on the lowest level, like over there first. I've done this a lot of times before, so I'm pretty comfortable. What was taking me a while to get was transitioning smoothly, dropping, and then immediately getting my hand in here. Right here, there's a little break in the fence, so I can be sloppy as grab on top. Other side doesn't have that, so be a little more precise. So I have all the pieces nicely put together. That's just one uh, story a little higher. It shouldn't be much harder though. My technique, if it's there, it should be fine. So I don't know what I'm gonna do at the very bottom. Maybe go that way, maybe jump off. I'll see what momentum does. We'll see. Okay, mission accomplished. So pretty happy with it. 
Uh, again, first thing I've done since uh, my ankle's been sprained. So, and it felt pretty good. It took a little while to kind of make the lens a little softer. While my proprioception's still coming back. And I still kind of want to clean up my exit a little more, but very happy with uh, what we got today coming back from injury. Still don't really know how to sign off these things, but I had fun. I'm gonna try to do more of these vlog style uh, challenges. So stay tuned.